everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about page speed. Page speed is probably one of the most common questions I get asked. Is my page is loading slowly or this test says that this is wrong with my site, how do I fix it? Um, because Google has indicated that page loading time is one of the qualities that's taken into consideration by its algorithm to determine your page rank. Plus, if your page is loading slowly, then people are going to kind of click back to the search engine, which is going to increase your bounce rate, decrease the average time your user is on your page, which all harms your SEO or your search engine ranking. So it is super, super important that your page is loading properly. So how fast should this be? Well, Google recommends that the average load time should be two seconds or less for e-commerce websites. Now, in my experience, this is very tricky um, to get your website to load that fast. In fact, some bigger names such as Squarespace's website itself takes longer than two seconds. Um, so don't worry too much if your website is not loading that fast. Um, but the average load time for top ranking websites in Google is between three and six seconds. So if you're catching up more to that six second mark or higher, it, it, your web page is taking way too long to load and you do need to work at getting that down. Um, so what should you do? If it is down, what should you do? Well, there's lots of different tools out there that will tell you some different metrics. The problem is that a lot of these will mention things that really you can't do anything about. Either it's something that could require a developer or be you know, super complex, or it's up to the Squarespace platform and therefore you just can't do anything about it. Does this mean that Squarespace is bad for SEO, that you can't have a fast site on Squarespace? Absolutely not. It just means that there's some things that are done at the server level and therefore there's not much we can really do. It's kind of up to Squarespace to optimize that for themselves. Um, so there's tons of things that you can do on your site to make sure that your site is optimized as much as possible. Okay. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to actually look at the metrics for your site, what tool I recommend and I use for my clients, and sort of how to tell what's slowing down your site so that you can um, improve your site to the best of its ability. The tool that I like to use for all of my clients are Pingdom tools. So I have a link below this video um, to access Pingdom tools or it's just tools.pingdom.com. And you're just gonna put your URL in there and click start. So here I've actually done Squarespace's website and you can see the results here. So the first thing I look at is the load time. So they've got three seconds, which is good. Again, if you're approaching that five, six second mark or higher, your site is loading way too slow and there's things we can do to help that load time. So if your load time is high, what you're gonna to wanna to do is look at your page size. Again, the biggest culprit of slow loading times is page size. So here they have a page size of 4.9 megabytes, which is good. You do not want anything more than five megabytes. So if your page is loading slowly, chances are your page size is over five megabytes. And so we can look at what content is taking up the biggest space on your site so that we can optimize that and shrink that to help keep your page size below five megabytes. Again, a lot of people get caught up on this here, but a lot of these strategies would require a developer or are things at the server level um, and aren't necessarily something that we can fix. Um, so for most of you, by altering your page size, you're going to improve your loading time. Okay, so instead scroll past all of this and scroll down to the content size by content type. And what this will do is tell you what type of content is taking up the biggest percentage of your site. Okay? In my experience, the biggest is usually images. So here images is only taking up 20% of their site, which is really good. Um, but if your page is loading slowly, chances are your image percentage is really high. Okay. So what you wanna do for all of your images on your site is compress them. So here I have an image from Unsplash. I'm working on a Mac, so it might be different for a PC. But I'm going to open up this image here. And if I had just dragged this onto my Squarespace site, chances are it's way too large and it's gonna slow down my site. So instead I'm going to go up to tools, adjust size, and you'll see it's got a width of 6,000 pixels. So this image itself is 4.7 megabytes. So that would take up the entire page content that I want. Um, so if this is a background or banner image that's going to go across your entire website, then I'll make the longest side, which in this case is the width, 
a width of 1500 pixels. Okay. So now if I open this up again and click the size, it's 275 kilobytes, which is way smaller. Um, but I can still optimize this even more. The tool I use is Compress JPEG. And I'm just going to drag it in. And then download it. Okay. And now it's just a little bit smaller because it's already quite small. Um, but it has compressed it even just that little bit more. Optimally, you don't want your file size any more than 500 kilobytes. Okay. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name this. That's something meaningful for this image and for my business. Nobody's going to search um, KLFK on slash like that. Nobody's going to search that name. And so I'm going to then um, name this something to do with my business before I upload it to Squarespace. Okay, so if your images are taking up most of your size, go through your entire website and compress all your images, read upload all of your images. I know it would be a lot of work, but I promise you it will be worth it. The other culprit is script. So if you've added a bunch of JavaScript or CSS to your site, um, that could be slowing down your site. Make sure that you constantly go through all of that code and delete any code that is no longer necessary. Also make sure to avoid adding extra JavaScript libraries if you can. A lot of plugins and things use jQuery, which can be great. And there's lots of things in jQuery that are worth adding the jQuery library in. But if you're only using it for a one line of code or two lines of code, um, that's a lot of information you're loading in for that one little line. So if you can avoid uploading other JavaScript libraries, um, that could help speed up your website. The last thing that may slow down your site that won't necessarily be listed here is if you're pulling information from other servers, such as YouTube. So if you have YouTube videos on your site, like in my blog, you want to make sure you're using a custom thumbnail. That way, when it loads the page, it can just load the custom image that you've uploaded and will only have to contact the YouTube servers and pull that information in if somebody actually clicks to play the video, which could help if especially if you have lots of videos and stuff across your site. Okay, so go to Pingdom Tools, type in your website, look at the load time, the page size, and then scroll down to the content size by type to see what is making your site so large and what you can do to optimize that. If you like this video and you're interested in learning more about Squarespace and things you can do to optimize your Squarespace site, please make sure to follow me along on my socials. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click like and subscribe. And if you're on my blog, make sure you sign up for my email list in the footer so that you can be notified when new content is uploaded. I do upload content every single week. Until then, that is how you optimize your page speed on your Squarespace website.